So this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. Uh, weekly general, <clears throat> oh my God, weekly general tarot reading, uh, June 1st to June 7, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website. Uh, from which you can purchase such and as well uh, if you are interested in to uh, start reading tarot cards and you like the way I read my third season of tarot classes in starting is starting at 21st of June and you can sign up for it by going into uh, the tarot classes section at my uh, at my website so that being said um, moving for the first card which represents the very topic and uh, the theme of your week Virgo we do have the Queen of Pentacles moving next is going to be the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic itself that is going to be the lovers followed by uh, the <clears throat> challenges that you will have to face and overcome throughout the week that is going to be the justice followed by the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the empress followed by the impression that you are going to leave into the people around we have the three of swords there and the last one which stands as the guidance the tower is offering that will be the hangman so i i would need a second here it's very it's very peculiar week that you are going to have so, uh, the energies of the lover's card. So, let's first address the elephant of the room. So, what if those energies of the lover's card really brings you uh, love and comfort, okay, that will reside into a, um, an, an enterprise that you already have or you have been. Because with the Queen of Pentacles as the situation, this is where you are trying to develop a potential that you are heretofore um, unexplored. That, that potential is not explored by now. So if it is about a new love, it's not going to be a new love with new person. It's going to be a new love with a person you already know. Because it's about potential that you have not explored yet. Okay, But in the grand scheme of things, with the energies of the lovers card and if that's about a love the energies of the lovers is very difficult energy and i will try to explain you why this is something i'm saying in my classes but lovers the love of the lovers it's as it is a true love it doesn't make any sense meaning that under normal circumstances you wouldn't love that guy or that woman you know i mean they will be completely indifferent to you but for some reason you are feeling attracted to them right now and you can't explain why and that is very scary all right and most of the individuals they tend to pull away from that scary enterprise in front of them while with the lovers you should not pull yourself away from it but instead you should give yourself to it completely so a two matching opposites can collide and form one whole but in the grand scheme of things those uh, two cards here are pointing through the energies this week is going to be very harmonious for you and it is highly likely that many of your concerns will simply simply stop bothering you. I mean, literally, they will start resolving themselves on their own accord and that will help you to start putting more attention to the leaks of your current environment you know for example uh putting more attention to the reasons why your relationship isn't going on very well or why you're single you know or why your career is on the rock and these kind of stuff so you will be able to put more attention into those aspects of your life where you are feeling insecure and certain and where you feel that you can pretty much achieve more and through those uh, energies of of synchrony comfort you know and um harmonious flow moving forward you like said at the start you will be able to uh, identify potentials that have been unexplored up until this uh, up until this point and you are to be able to consolidate your life to a greater extent or in another word said making it much more stable than before moving next we do have uh, the challenges that you have to overcome here we do have uh, the um, justice card so challenging wise 
with the justice it's pretty much there are responsibilities that you need to attend to now with this card into that follow-up as a challenge you may want to attend to one thing over another while the natural course will urge you to attend over the other thing than the another all right and uh, so that being said uh, it will be challenging for you to keep up with the sermon that you're going to have what thing needs to be done immediately what what needs your immediate immediate concern okay and what can be left over for later as um you you need to manage your time in such a way so you can attend to all of your responsibilities throughout the week with uh, with the justice card um additionally to that with the justice it's very important to be obviously just but what i mean here it is that you shouldn't give a privilege to things that you want them to have privilege i don't know how to describe it but you know that they should not have a privilege right um if i have to give you an example of it say that you have to go to a cinema with a friend but also you need to do your homework so you give a privilege to going into cinema instead of doing your homework while tomorrow you are going to be asked for your homework but you can reschedule going into cinema with your friend all right so such kind of a discern, the discern, uh, discernment you need to have and uh, so you can incorporate it in your life so you can consolidate and stabilize you know your environment moving next we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy so that is the gift and the blessing of the empress and it's pretty much uh, it just consolidates over the energies it does point that this week is going to be very comfortable for you uh, you are going to be as well granted the time to um to make as most balanced decisions as possible what i mean is that you won't be rushed you know to decide am i gonna do this or am I going to do that? Should I jump into this relationship or should I not jump into this relationship? You know, should I take the proposal or should I not take the proposal? Pretty much you will be granted a, a time to detach from the midst of activities so you can make a most well-found decisions in regards how to move on forward. Additionally to that, by consolidating your environment here with the Empress as a gift and blessing, that gives you the opportunity and as well... Um, well, I will use that term, the opportunity to make a long term plans about your career or about your um, about your relationship. And if we go with the keywords here, you may be blessed with pregnancy. All right. But that is something that I can't vouch for because pregnancy, it's uh, it's related to medical condition and tarot is not designed to read for health or not at least the way the tie all the cards moving next we do have the impression that you are going to leave into the people around so that is the impression of the tree of swords well people are going to see you first of all very very resilient it's like even with your back against the wall that you can handle anything that comes your way and as well people are going to see you very how can i say it uh, let me look at the other cards uh, very resentful in a sense of uh, how you should proceed on forward because here the lover's card as the energies uh, adopts its grand uh, grand manifestation which is the manifestation of a choice and as we said with the empress you know you have to withdraw from the midst of activities so you can make a well-found and balanced decisions here but with the lovers in the tree of swords into the impression of the others this is a, a a time where you cannot have it all and you have to decide for one thing over another here uh, as we can see with the um, with the structure of the week itself that you have to attend into one priority although you may not like it you have to go for it and leave the other for for another time uh, and uh, yeah people were pretty much going to feel you uh, going to see you a bit resentful but also a, a very aware and accurate for what um for what it's going to take so you can push forward with your agenda and with your deeds and therefore uh people are gonna grow in trust uh in trust with you virgo but above everything else with this card people are not gonna take you for a fool okay because the tree of swords is about recognizing the painful truth right and also it's about healing so that being said people are gonna see you that you are no longer 
so affected by, for example, your previous breakup, but for example, your previous layoff, that you are healing from it and as well, that you are recognizing that, you know, what needs to be done and how needs to be done. Uh, the last one here, it is the guidance that Tara is offering. So we do have the hangman and that is highly correlating with the topic itself. So what we said is that you are going to have a, uh, uh, a, a potentials that are unexplored, especially if we are following the narrative of the love around. OK, and you are going to need a different eyes to to look at the situation so you can you can recognize the potential there. And this is what the the um, hangman is here. Here is urging you to uh, to do. Uh, I'm explaining that into my classes as well, but I will try to explain it here also. So we do have a man hanging on the tree upside down and therefore the man is seeing the world upside down and therefore the man is, the man is seeing the world in different perspective. Okay, and this is what you need here to have a different perspective or hands to person that you consider only as a friend and you see that that person makes an advances towards you to try and consider them as more than a friend. OK, that is what it's going to take. Can you do it? Well, that depends entirely on you. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly general tarot reading a June 1st to June 7th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from where you can purchase such. And as well, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, my third season of tarot classes is starting at 21st of June and you can sign up for it again through my website going into the tarot classes section. It is a six weeks along a um, course with one lecture a week for a duration of a two hours per lecture and you get to own the, the lecture, meaning that you are going to be sent a, a video of the lecture itself. So uh, we may see each other around and until then, bye.